In this video, we'll be expanding logarithmic expressions. If you've not already done so, press pause to copy these properties of logarithms into your notes. When you're ready to continue, press play. These properties, especially the last three, number two, three, and four, are very important to keep in mind when you're working with logarithms. This is a way, if you have uh, the log of a product, this is a way to change it to individual logarithms. So the log of a product is the sum of the individual logarithms. The log of a quotient, you can change that to uh, the difference of the individual logarithms. So ln a minus ln b. And if you have an exponential as your argument, you can take the n out in front and multiply it by the ln of a. So let's use these properties to expand some logarithmic expressions. Our first example Directions are expand each logarithmic expression using the properties of logarithms. So you can see that we have a quotient. So we'll use the third property, which says that we can write this as the ln of 10 subtract the ln of 9. So this is ln 10 minus ln 9. Another one. Now, anytime you have a radical, you can write that as an exponential. So let's rewrite this as the ln of 3x plus 2 raised to the 1 half power. Now, because I have an exponent, I can use the fourth property, which says that I can bring that exponent out in front and multiply it by the logarithm. So this is equal to 1 half times the ln of 3x plus 2. Now notice there is no way to expand this argument. Um, our properties only deal with an argument which is a product, an argument which is a quotient, or an argument which is an exponential. Okay. There's no properties that talk about an argument which is a sum. So this cannot be changed, and this is our final answer on this expansion. Our next one, we have a few things going on. Um, First of all, let's talk about the quotient here. Um, if we have an ln of a quotient, we can subtract the ln of the numerator minus the ln of the denominator. Then um, this is a product right here. So I can use um, my Second property, which says the log of a product is equal to the sum of the individual logs. And so now we can take this part of the expression and make it ln 6 plus ln x, and then copy the ln minus ln 5. And we have one more. This one's a um, little bit of complicated. But um, let's look at this first as a quotient. We have a top, and then we have a bottom. So we can write that. I may need more room here. So let's write that first with our rule about the quotient. So this is the ln of the numerator. subtract 
the ln of the denominator. Um, this one now has an exponent, so I can use that uh, fourth rule, or the fourth property, to bring that exponent out in front. And so this part of the expression can be written as 2 ln x squared plus 3 minus um, this the first thing I notice is that I have a product right here. So I have two things multiplied together, the x and the cube root of this thing. So um, whenever you have a product, you can write it as the sum of the besides the distributing this minus is this radical. Anytime you have a radical, you can write it as a exponential. And there's no property for expanding a sum, so I have to leave this alone. So I have 2 ln x squared plus 3. And then let me go ahead and distribute this minus also. Uh, minus ln x and minus ln and then I can write this as x squared plus 1 raised to the one-third power. Which allows me now to use the fourth property to bring this out in front of the logarithm. And that should be all I can do. Uh, 2 ln x squared plus 3 minus ln x minus 1 third ln x squared plus 1.